Shout for joy to God, all the earth. Sing the glory of his name and give him glorious praise. Say to God how awesome are your deeds. So great is your power that your enemies come cringing to you and all the earth worship you and sing, sings um, your praises. They sing praises to your name. God of wonder with joy. In celebration we gather here to welcome the fresh gift of the child born to, to be king. Emmanuel, God with us. Light for the world. A beacon in the darkness. Jesus Christ is born among us. Jesus Christ is born for us. Let us come and celebrate. Amen. Um, I would ask my brother Ben to come and do the reading of the word of God. Uh, that is from Luke chapter 2, verses um, 8 to 21. God bless and happy Christmas today. I hope you're all having a, an amazing day and just uh, remembering the Lord Jesus in today. Uh, it's the fifth advent, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'll read Luke uh, chapter 2, verses 8 to 21. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heavens, and on earth peace to those on whom his favour rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that had heard, they had heard and seen, which was just as they had been told. Praise God, that's so awesome. So we'll get Johnson back for the Christmas message. Uh, bring open ears. Praise God. The word is the source of life. And this life brings light to the people of the world. The light shines in darkness. And the darkness has never put it out. You came like sunrise over a hill, sleeping silent into an almost unsuspecting well. Mary and Joseph knew, Elizabeth and Zachariah knew, why is men following a star? The shepherds staring at the sky saw angels. Then they knew the inner keeper may be new. The animals in the stable are said to have known. Now, on this Christmas morning day, open our eyes to see the baby in Bethlehem. Open our eyes to hear the voice of angels. Fill our spirits to experience the miracle of light piercing darkness. As God divine becomes man in you, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Come, Lord Jesus. Amen. What a day. Merry Christmas to you all, brothers and sisters. 
Fear not, your Savior is here. God is here. Jesus Christ is here. And the angel said to them, Fear not, behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. So my theme this morning is, Fear not, your Savior is here. Many people ask the question, when was Jesus Christ born? It could not have been in the dead of winter or the shepherds would not have been out at night with their sheep. But the date of his birth is irrelevant, just as the day upon which he was crucified is irrelevant. The scripture does not say when he was born. The important thing is that he was born. The scripture does not say when he was crucified. The important thing is that he died for our sins. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them. And the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the seat of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. So when you encounter the living God, often at least there is fear. The angels reassured the shepherds, do not be afraid. Once the shepherds realized that God wanted to communicate with them, they were free to worship the Christ child. My friend, if all is silent and dark in your life now, you feel like you have been left out in the cold, just know that Jesus came to be your savior at such a time as this. He is your savior at such a time as this. Sometimes you are worried. We are worried about what is happening. We are worried about COVID-19. We are worried about all these other things. But I want to say to you, the Savior has been born for you. He is in control. He is in charge of your life. He was not born in the comfort of a warm cause or room, but in a cold manger. There was no room for him in the inn, so that there will always be room at the cross for your healing, your wellness and provision. A mansion in heaven is waiting for you. That's why he came. He was received that there was no room in the inn. Jesus was born very quietly. So quietly that the Bible says that only a group of shepherds came to him while the rest of the Bethlehem people were sleeping. In Luke 2, verse 8 and 9. Like manna falling quietly from heaven in the Old Testament, the true bread from heaven came quietly. It was silent night, but that was not all. It was silent night. But that was not all. Jesus was also born during the darkest time in Israel's history. Israel was under the tyrannical rule of the Romans. It was during this time when everything was so dark that Jesus was born. Beloved brothers and sisters, he will come to you in the darkest period of your life. You will come through in the darkest time of your life. On that cold and silent night, the shepherds were afraid when the angel of the Lord stood before them. But the angel said, do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the seat of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. So the fact that Jesus came to earth as a human being reassures us that our holy and almighty God is also a personal God. When we put our faith in the living God, his perfect love expels all fear. There is no fear if you believe in Jesus Christ. There is no worry if you believe in Jesus Christ. It expels the love of Christ, expels all the fears we have. It changes darkness into light. It changes darkness into light. My friend, it was not a judge or a lawgiver who was born. It was a mighty savior. He came to save his people. He came to save you and me. So even if you are in cold, dark period of your life, don't be afraid. The Savior has come. He will save you to the uttermost. He will save you in a darkest moment. It is only when you are in your darkest moment, that's when you have faith in God. You don't have faith when things are going on well. Your faith is built when things are not going on well. That's when your faith is built. So I want to assure you, I want to encourage you that please, Hang on, Christ, the Savior of the world. He is here for you. 
He said, don't be afraid. That, these are the words of, from the angels. I'm see, seeing these angels speaking to us today in our world when we are fear of everything. We are afraid of everything. And the angels say, don't be afraid. Today is born a savior into our lives. He's there. He's the savior of the world. May God bless you. May God help you this Christmas. Do not be afraid. Do not worry. Don't, don't be afraid of anything. In fact, rejoice in the Lord. Joy to the world. The Savior has come. You need to sing together with your family members. You need to sing even on your own. You need to sing together even at church. I'm saying joy to the world. The Savior has come. May the God, Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Merry Christmas to you, brothers and sisters. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's uh, pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you. We thank you for the love you have shown to us. We thank you that you are God. We thank you that you love us. Father, it's Christmas Day. As we are gathered around this table, we know that people are gathered around tables with families, with so much food which have been prepared. We pray that you bless these people as they eat this food, as they enjoy each other's company. Father, we also remember those who will be going hungry today. We thank you for the people who give up their celebrations of Christmas to serve meals to the homeless, to the lonely. May all be blessed in deep sense of your presence. May they feel that God loves them. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Forgive us, Lord, when we have been so wrapped up in ourselves, so wrapped up in our presence, that we have not looked out for others. Those have little or no family. Those have no resources. Those for whom Christmas is said, forgive us and fill us with generosity that we might make the good news of Christmas real for someone in need, for someone who is lonely, for someone who is suffering. Bless us, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Again, brothers and sisters, I just remind you, it's always our custom to always thank or give thanksgiving to the Savior who has been born in our lives. I would encourage you right now, as you take your offering, a thanksgiving offering, for saying it's Christmas Day and I am enjoying everything in its abundance. We are enjoying life with our families, but don't forget to say thank you to God as you take your offering. Let me pray for the offering. Father, we thank you for the things you have given us in abundance this Christmas. Father, we thank you for the gift of life because there are some people who are unable to celebrate with their relatives, with their spouses, with their children because of other things that have happened in their lives. It could be death. It could be they are far away in lockdowns. But Lord, we just want to say thank you. Bless our offerings, Father, as we remember who you are. Bless us too. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us receive grace. May the joy and peace of Christmas Fill your heart and your home. May they shine brightly as you go from here. And may they surround you and those you love this Christmas and always. Loving God, today, Christmas Day, help us look up upon the food we share with thanks and help us to take joy in the company of our friends and family. Help us to be thankful for all the gifts which you bless us in the name of Jesus who is born in our hearts again today. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. In Jesus' name. Amen. Merry Christmas to you all. 
God bless you. Brother Harvey there. <laughs> God bless you.